I love you. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Uh, now, now, Amy, you were. Uh, you must keep calm. I am calm. Amy, I'm so... Don't speak to me. Well, look, Alisa, let me explain. Now, now, I know it looks bad. Looks bad? It doesn't look bad. It looks bloody terrible. Look, I think we should all stay calm. Um, this is an important moment in our lives, and what we do and now, say now, now... it wasn't anybody's fault. It just happened. Uh, there the, the, was nothing I could do about it. Nothing you could do about it? What did she do? Bring you down with a drug dart? Now, you see, I knew you wouldn't understand. Wouldn't understand? You're not satisfied with doing it. You want me to understand? You bastard! Don't you realise this is adultery? They used to stone them for this in the Bible. Yeah, I should have liked that, wouldn't you? You should have lived in those days. You'd have been sitting down on the front row with the biggest pile of rocks you could find. You're absolutely right, you treacherous little sod. <laughs> Amy, you stop that. Do you want to get arrested? I won't get arrested. This is a Catholic country. The law's on my side. This is the home of the Inquisition, the branding iron and the rack. Not that the rack would worry you. You've always wanted to be taller. <laughs> what do you see? He's a man who's middle-aged and redundant. Well, I'm afraid I don't see him like that. I happen to find him attractive, and if you'd ever bothered to look at him, so would you. Attractive? Good grief. Not only has she got no tits, her eyesight's defective. <laughs> now, don't listen to Alinda. She's just been vindictive. There's nothing wrong with your... you. I suppose you find her attractive as well. Yes, I do. Well, it's this place. It's the enchanted cottage all over again, with two middle-aged loonies running around thinking they're beautiful. But well, what if we are? Deceiving ourselves. And what about me? How do you think I feel? Discarded after 15 years like, like an old soul. Oh, there's no need to be so dramatic. If you can think of a more dramatic moment than this, David, I suggest you get in touch with John Osborne. Now, look, you have got to be calm and rational. I am calm and rational. So what are you going to do? I'm going to reason with her. No, you're not. Linda, get into the bathroom and lock the door. Now, this, you know, this, this won't do any good. It might not do her any good, but it'll make me feel a hell of a lot better. Come out here, you, you whore! Look, you don't you... Oi. Oi. Pardon, senora. Are you finito? Yes! Now, Amy, please, we must stay calm. Calm! Oh, yes, that's the first thing I noticed about you, Linda. I said to my husband, you don't mind if I call him my husband, do you? I said, look at that woman. Have you ever seen such composure? Have you ever seen such inner calm? Yes, well, through yoga, I have achieved the secret of inner tranquility. That's what I said. I said that woman has achieved the secret of inner tranquility. <laughs> and let me tell you something else. You are going to need it. I warn you, I've done judo. Yes, and yoga, and flower arranging, and pottery, and now adultery. No, it wasn't like that. It just happened. I don't make a, a habit of this. I'm not promiscuous. Aren't you? David will be disappointed. I think he was counting on it. No, I wasn't. David David's not like that. How do you know what David's like? I've been married to him for 15 years and I still don't know what he's like. Getting to know David is like peeling an onion. You remove one layer only to find another. And the more you peel, the more you weep. Where'd you get this onion from? <laughs> I'm nothing like an onion. He doesn't love you. Don't you see? This will fade with a suntan. Look, he's had a bad year. He's lost his job. You're rich and successful. This is his revenge on capitalism. It's got nothing to do with that. Don't listen to her, Linda. Well, then what is it? Is she more entertaining? <laughs> is she more exciting in bed? What does she do? Use glove puppets or juggle six oranges? <laughs> now, there's no need for all this, Emma. Anyway. I hope we're just not right for each other. I mean, we're always fighting. We should never have got married. We just... Well, we're just not... We're just not compatible. What do you mean we're not compatible? <laughs> Let me tell you, we are very compatible. Shut up! <laughs> How did we break the leg off the bed in Brighton? Now, please, Amy, I don't want to hear the details of your personal life. It's too late now. You are my personal life. Well, there's no need to lose your temper. Poor David, it can't have been easy living with you. He's right. You should never have married. You've never understood him. He's sensitive, artistic. Artistic? Well, how's this for artistic? <laughs> Suppose the Germans are going to make of this. Oh, 